Good evening, everyone. This is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. Welcome. Welcome to my craft room. Let me know in the comments if the sound is good, if you can hear me okay, you can see me, all the things. Um, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here tonight. It's Tuesday and Tuesday evenings at 7.30 Central Time. I go live and do a video tutorial. And uh, tonight we are going to make a, a graduation card. Um, so welcome. Uh, blustery March weather here in Minnesota tonight. Been chilly and windy and all the typical March things. So um Welcome. So glad that you are here. And we are, uh, and I'm sorry for the late start. It was a little late tonight. Oops. I did our, on uh, once a week, I send out a project sheet email and I, I work really hard on it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's full of, of valuable content and it takes me like the whole day. <laughs> and I was, uh, well, I was determined to get that out before I went live tonight. So um, if you subscribe to my Sue Stamfield project sheets, that should be in your inbox. Lots of good things um, in there. Um, uh, the project sheet for the card that we did in the last video with the frying pan is in there, detailed project sheet. Also a fun uh, Dutch door fold card in there with the sweet as a peach bundle, which is retiring. So uh, we played with the what's cooking stamp set in the last video and made the frying pan card. And so I worked hard to create the project sheet for that, spent most of the day on that. I went to to <laughs> um, update the uh, items that were sold out because that is also in that email. I have a large print PDF of the retiring items. And then I scanned in my super fancy, not super fancy, uh, version of that with the sold out things crossed out. And guess what? The what's cooking set sold out, which means the bundle's not available. But the adorable cooking dies are still in stock. At least they were when I sent that a few minutes ago. Things are selling out so fast, you guys. So I hope you have been able to order those items on your wish list. A couple other reasons that you want to order sooner rather than later, besides the things selling out, um, Stampin' Up! has let us know that their shipping costs will be increasing uh, starting April 1st. Probably not a big surprise. That's kind of the world that we live in right now. Prices are going up. And so they have not had a price increase for shipping in 10 years. Um, they are not trying to make money off shipping. They are trying to mitigate their losses that they take on shipping. So they have to pass on a, an increase. So instead of 10% shipping, it will be 11%. And the minimum shipping instead of $6.95 will be $7.95. So that takes place here on April 1st, end of this week, right? Um, so it is a good time to stock up. Also, uh, demonstrators have gotten a peek at the new catalog, which is coming soon and full of like super awesome stuff. Super awesome stuff. If you ordered for me in the past year, I'll be sending you a catalog. If you haven't ordered and you would like a catalog, drop me an email. My email is here. Remind me to remove this later when we start crafting so it's not blocking your view. Um, and I will email you uh, the, the um, you know, email me and then I can get your address and get your catalog. So those I'll be able to order April 1st and I'll send them out as soon as they arrive. Of course, I always put a little, a little fun gift in there. So um, mid-April, I would say those will go out. Now, in the new catalog, there are some price increases at as well. Again, not a surprise with the way things are, raw materials are going up everywhere. So this is a good time to stock up on cardstock and ink and all of those things. So if you are subscribed to my uh, project sheet emails, you will see that in there. If you're not subscribing to my project sheet emails, do it. <laughs> uh, uh, like I said, I try to make sure they're full of value and lots of fun, creative ideas for you. So you can do that right here at suestamfield.com and click on subscribe. Whew. Okay, I think it caught you up on all the news. So let's go ahead and create. Tonight we're going to make a fun graduation card. Uh, we're going to use pun a punch and a die to make a super cute um, mortarboard. Is that what they're called? A graduation cap. 
And, uh, and then the amazing thanks dies uh, for the greeting. Now, in our last video, um, we ran out of time. And um, that's okay, Sherry. I was late too. Sherry's late. I'm late. We're all good. <laughs> so um, yeah, those of you who are demonstrators are getting your catalogs in the mail now. Um, if you're doing uh, the on tour event, you're getting your catalog with a stamp set. Um, if you're not doing on tour, your catalogs will be coming. So, um, so, oh, Joe's playing with Easter stamps. That's a good thing to be doing right now. It's almost April 17th. So that's coming right up two weeks here. So, um, oh, Cindy cleaned and sorted her craft room. Oh, I'm so jealous. I am so needing to do that. And that's just not going to happen anytime soon. So um, welcome, everyone. So glad that you're here. Let's go ahead and do some creating. I am going to oh, hmm, grab something here. Hold on. Sorry, you're looking at nothing. <laughs> Let's flip to the other camera here one moment, please. Let's go down to my desk. There we go. Let me know if you can see that. All right. We've got scissors poking in here. Um, so this is oh, upside down, Sue. Um, this is my super fa fancy version that I emailed out. I just scanned this in and I just crossed out items. I tried to make it so that you could still see what it was. So if you wanted to mark it in your catalog, and then I put a big black blob over here so that you would know that that item was sold out. So um, the item that, so items that are most, uh, they're selling out the most are actually stamp sets, a ton of stamp sets. You can see all the ones that have gone. So again, check your email. Um, if you have not, uh, if you want an update on this, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And by the way, um, hello from Australia. Welcome. These items are what are sold out in the U.S. market. I should say that. Um, I don't know what's sold out in Australia, but uh, this is just for the U.S. market. And the list that I sent out are also for the U.S. market, this large, large print uh, PDF. All of the French sets have been removed. Um, just to make it a little bit easier to read for those of us that um, are not in the Canadian market and are probably not wanting French sets. I realize some people do like those. Um, so, you know, nothing against that. <laughs> so in our last video, we made this super cute card um, with the What's Cooking bundle. That's the What's Cooking stamp set and the cook and dies. As I mentioned, the stamp set has sold out just this afternoon. It's gone. But the dies, as of right now, fingers crossed, are still available, which is really good because we're going to use those dies on a graduation card. What? I know, crazy, right? So let's get let's get cooking here. <laughs> let's cook up a grad card. Hang on. I am grabbing a scrap of black cardstock out of my file of of carts of uh, black scraps. So this is the tailored tag punch. Mine's all scratched up, you can see, because it gets used a lot. I love this punch. Um, and so you can punch out that. Now you can say, we're gonna make our mortar board right off the bat here. Now you might say, Susan, that doesn't really look like a mortar board. It kind of does, but not really. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do a little trick to that to make it look a little bit more. Um, cap like so i've got a post-it note here and i'm going to stick this on my post-it note hang on to it this is just going to give me um a handle if you will um so that i can slide this in really is this punch retiring oh my gosh i didn't even know that uh okay it's it was still available before this started because i just updated the retired list and it wasn't listed so so you can see that i'm gonna this is how we originally punched it but i'm gonna punch it a, oops i'm not i got it stuck now oh gosh you guys i need to slow down <gasps> deep breath deep breath <laughs> no i'm throwing it on the floor this is going to be one of my nights, I can tell. All right, so I'm going to actually line this up here. So my goal is to slide this back into the punch and punch it a second time. And I'm kind of lining up, I have to look past the camera so I can see, I'm kind of lining up the points here. You don't have to, you can go even further than that. 
and then punch a second time. And that gives you what looks more like a mortar board, right? So you're going to have this leftover sort of chevron piece. We don't need that. You can use it for another project if you want, but this is going to give you that mortar board shape. So that's how we make the base of it. The next part is to make the tassel. So I'm going to bring in a, a little mini um, stamp and uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, cut and emboss machine. And we're going to do with some die cutting here. So let's bring in our parts and pieces. So we've got the number one. We've got a... Uh, number two plate. It tells us right on here, got the instructions right there. I need the number one to cut a die. And then I need two of these plates that have the number two on them. So we're going to slide that in. Now, has anybody guessed, um, let me show you the finished graduation cap here. Whoops, this one moved on me a little bit. I'm going to have to shore up my, my centerpiece. But um, can anyone guess what die I used to make my tassel for our cap tonight? Can anyone guess where um, Carol wants to know where demonstrators find out what is sold out? Carol, on the demonstrator website, you go to the inventory status report and the last tab in there says um, uh, retired, I believe is what it says. Uh, discontinued, I'm sorry, discontinued. Uh, okay, you guys are right, the whisk. Absolutely, it is the whisk. So where's our whisk? Let's grab it. These are the cooking dies. Here is our little whisk. And I was just thinking, hmm, what can I make a tassel out of? And then I just happened to see uh, this laying on my desk actually in black. And I went, oh, hey, I think that might work. And sure enough, it did. I'm stalling because I've once again lost my scissors. Seriously, I've got 10 pairs of scissors. <laughs> And I just had them in my hand. I brought them over from the, oh, yep, they're there. They're my chair. Yeah, that's right where you want to keep your scissors, on your chair. Yeah, really not a good idea. I don't recommend. <clears throat> I'm taking a piece of gold foil here, and I'm cutting it. And I'm going to grab my whisk, which is soon to become a tassel. Now, you could, of course custom match this to the grad um, school colors. You don't uh, need to do it in gold. It's kind of a classic look though. If you don't know what the graduation colors are, um, you can just do it in gold, black and gold. Um, nice metallic gold. I don't know there's something very gratty about that, right? Graduation-y. <laughs> Is that a word? Probably not. So let's pull this apart here. So here I have, where's my little there's my my uh, take your pick tool i need to do some poking all right so this is what the whisk looks like looks like that and so all i did was cut straight across took off the bottom portion of the whisk and then this top part i didn't really want it this thick so uh, because I wanted to use a little embellishment for that kind of button thing that's on a cap, on a grad cap. So I just took my, my uh, scissors and I just cut to a point here. Um, just freehand cut. Doesn't have to be fancy at all. But just to make a point so that it looked more tassel-like, if that's a word. And I'm going to put that right here on my cap. And then I'm going to grab the matte black dots. And I'm going to use the larger size. And I'm going to put that right in the center. Now, what's happening on my one that I, um, I did first as a, just to play to see if it would work, <laughs> is that my uh, matte black dot is getting... Uh, the glue dot on the back is not quite making it past the foil on my tassel. So I'm going to add a little dot of multi-purpose liquid glue to the center of my cap just to reinforce my tassel so that it doesn't slide around. And then I'm going to put my, sure you are, Sue. I'm going to put my, uh, I don't know, I want to call it a button. It's not really a button, but the covered little thingy <laughs> that goes on the cap right there. So there we have our 
grad cap. How fun is that? Of course, again, you the tassel. My son's high school was orange and black, so you could do an orange one. You could do red and black. Whatever colors the school is, you could customize that. Um, so we've got that, and now we're going to do some greetings. Now, originally tonight, oh gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm breaking it, breaking it. Okay, there we go. Um, originally tonight, we were going to use a stamp set. Um, that we were going to use in the last video and we ran out of time and it was this one create with friends and I thought oh I'm going to do amazing you and have that be a grad card super cute right well guess what else sold out today this afternoon create with friends has sold out so I'm not going to use it tonight just because it will frustrate people that don't have it yet so I'm going to do another option of something that is available to purchase um, but if you have the crate with friends, you could certainly uh, use that for this card instead of the dies that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's do a little tidying. <laughs> Remove that. Let's slide our cap out of the way. And we're going to do a little die cutting here. So I'm going to flip my plate over and I'm going to die cut out of gold. Um, here's our shiny gold again. And this time now I could use um, adhesive sheets on the back of this. By the way, adhesive sheets are one of the things that will be going up in price in the new catalog. So if you uh, love adhesive sheets like I do, you might want to pick those up now while they are, um, before they go up in price. I'm going to cut out the words amazing and you here from gold foil. I'm just going to trim it to size. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to put my top plate on. And send that through and I'm moving things. Oops, you know what? I think I got a little piece of gold stuck in this. So I'm going to poke that out because it might not die cut very well if it has a chunk in there from the last time I cut it. And if these move on me again, I might have to use a post-it note to hold them in place. All right, let's try it. Let's see if I can crank it through. Okay. Yeah. I think that's going to go. It's not going to shift now. All right. We're just going to crank that through. These are from a die set that is in the mini catalog. It's called Amazing Thanks. And I believe that this one is carrying over. For those of you who are demonstrators that are watching, could you verify that for me? You guys are so helpful. Um, and just let us know if indeed the Amazing Thanks are uh, carrying over to the new catalog. Now just peel that off. It is very delicate, so you want to be careful when you pull that off because you don't want to rip it. And we'll pull out this. Um, the other words in this are are and thanks. So you can put you are amazing. Um, um, thanks, of course. Uh, you know, this would actually be a cute uh, graduation thank you card, too. If you know somebody that is graduating and you want to offer to make them thank you cards. Wow, what a great gift that would be. Um, you could do the same thing. So I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to flip this over. And let's see if I can find some black cardstock right here. All right, I feel like I've been running a race all day today. <gasps> I need to take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy my crafting experience, right? So what's really cool about these dies is that you can do um, the detail, and then you can also do like a, a layer or a background. And for a second, I didn't think I could find that, but I see it. It's right here. So I just grab some scrap out of my drawer. Let's see if I can fit them both on here. Mm, it's kind of tight. Can I do it? Oh, sure I can. Grant, this is a great way to use up those scraps. And I'm really hoping you guys are going to help me finish this card because other than these parts, I'm not totally sure what the finished look is going to look like. So I'm hoping you'll help me decide that. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. And I do believe we are done with our die cutting. So we've got the layer for the word amazing. 
and we have the layer once I convince it to come out of the die for the word you and again if you wanted to match the school colors um, you could do that uh, drop me a comment what what color were your uh, your school's colors uh, my was uh, green and gold actually uh, from Cedar Rapids Iowa uh, Kennedy High School uh, drop me a comment and let me know what your graduating colors were for your school or what your school colors were, I guess is a better way to say that. So we've got amazing, we've got you, and then we've got the layer. Now I did not put, yes, these are carrying over. Thank you so much for checking that. I really appreciate that. Um, so I did not put adhesive sheets on the back of these. These would be a great candidate for adhesive sheets, but I did not do that. Uh, let's see. Let me show you a card. <laughs> oh, it's not in here. Where is it? Hang on. Hold it on. <laughs> I've got a card where we did do it with adhesive sheets just to show you. So this was one of the Crafter Noon cards. This tutorial is available. This is the box top pop-up card. And so for this one, we did Amazing You, but for a birthday card, and we did do adhesive sheets on the back of the, the uh, Coastal Cabana um, narrow words, and then we layered those on Bermuda Bay. And when this one opens up, it pops open, and we've got the little happy birthday there. So that's the box top pop-up card from the February Crafter Noon. There's a whole bunch of cards I made with this fun fold and that tutorial bundle is available to purchase. I'm going to flip these over and put some adhesive on the back. I am <laughs> leaning around my cat, my camera so that I can see what I'm doing here. And I am literally just dotting on some multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of this. Uh, a dot is a lot. A lake is a mistake. A thin line is just fine. Is our little saying for multi-purpose liquid glue, right? Now, if you do, are you, you are doing this and working on a project and you get too much on, and you know when you stick them together, it's going to ooze on you. What you do is just let it dry because it dries sticky like a, like a glue dot. So you kind of like can make your own glue dot. So just let it dry and it will still stick great, but then it won't ooze. Once it's dry, it won't ooze. All right. So we'll see how I did. Got the word amazing here. So we've got our amazing layer. I hope you can see that. But I had to pull it towards me so that I could see it and get it on, you know, somewhat straight. Now you kind of have to, it gets a little stretched out because it's cursive. So you kind of push it back together and it's really easy to just line it up with this layer to get it back in the right shape. So we've got our word amazing. And now we've got our word you. Sure we do. There we go. Right here. All right. So we've got amazing you and we've got our mortarboard uh, and uh, with our black and gold tassel. So now we need to make a card with that, right? So I'm going to bring this in. Um, all I did so far was make a four by five and a quarter piece of uh, whisper white, or excuse me, basic white. Oh boy, I'm really doing a flashback tonight. It's now called basic white, not whisper white. That's been for like a long time, Susan. All right, I'm getting little fuzzies on my, my uh, paper. Bear with me. They're annoying me. They have to go bye-bye, and I just bumped my camera. Sorry about that. Get those off, any random dog hairs. So we can adhere this um, right here. We could overlap the cap onto the U, like so. So many fun options. We can also cut this down. It is a little bit more white. Blue and gold for Columbia Heights. Uh, let's see who else, what other colors, red and gold from Mantua, Ohio. 
let's see blue and gold from school colors black and white really oh that's cool blue and gold orange and black red and black red and white a lot of times there that seems like black is one of the colors isn't it so you know whatever school colors you need you can uh, do that you can color match i guess i'm trying to say i think i want to cut this white down um, and then we can mat it on a background so i'm going to bring in my handy dandy paper trimmer as i said i knew i was making i knew what dyes i was using <laughs> I knew we were going to make the grab cap, but I still don't know what the card looks like. Let's figure it out. So let's trim this down a skosh. We're going to go four and a quarter here. That looks pretty good. And we're going to turn this. And let's try three and a half and see what we think. That's okay i maybe could go a little bit more let's go three and a quarter oh three and a quarter we can do it sure we can sure we can all right i'm liking that and since we have um the black here we could do a designer paper. I still have the paper we used for the last card out on my desk. Let's see what that looks like. I'm also open to suggestions. Um, in fact, another thought. Hold on. I got another thought. Oops, that might be too close. Sorry. Just trying to get all this extra stuff out of this, the shot. So I'm just flipping through the... Uh, all together black papers here which have a lot of fun black and white patterns so we could use that that's one option or I had another thought let me grab this again let me know in the comments if you you like the cap over you janet okay yeah i kind of like that too we'll, we'll uh we get it stuck down we will do that i am grabbing some designer paper to see what we think this is one of my favorites this is the um expressions in ink so i'm going to be really loud and crackly here <laughs> designer series paper which is so gorgeous and there is a pattern in here if i remember right if i haven't used it all up that i think is right with gold so we could do something like that that's what that would sort of kind of look like we could also do something with you were thinking of the gold stripe in that path pack too kathy great minds think alike right let me grab a black and white pattern here that we might like this would be another very attractive look. So let's start with that. And let me know in the comments if you think we should use the all together black and white paper or if you think we should use the expressions in ink uh, designer paper. So let me know your thoughts. Always appreciate you guys weighing in on the card and helping me design it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at some other patterns here to see if there's another one we would like better. Okay, I've got to vote for, oh, you like the gold stripe with some of the background paper. That's another, another thought. Yeah, I, I don't think there'd be a wrong choice here. Um, let's see this one. This one is the same one we used on the kitchen card. No, I actually like this other one better. I like the little bit more solid black, I think. Let's try that one. Gold stripe, but with a thin black line around it. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, that we would definitely matte it with black if we did use this one. So let's take a look at what that would look like. I'm grabbing a piece of black cardstock out of my stash. 
actually, and I'm just going to grab a whole sheet here. Let's go ahead and cut her. I apologize. I'm using a ring light, so that's why you see that ring reflecting on my paper trimmer. And cutting my paper at five and a half. Let's cut it the wrong size. Five and a half inches for our card base. And then I know we cut this, I think it was four and a quarter by three and a half. So let's, or three and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my layer a quarter inch larger at three and a half. And then we're going to do four and a half find out if I did that correctly. Yes, that looks right. The right size layer. And I will, I will recap these measurements. I realize I'm kind of all over the place here. No worries. We'll, we'll catch that up. So let's try this. La, 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 four. by five and a quarter. We're gonna, we're gonna break it down here. We're gonna look at the actual size and see what we think. This would actually be fun on the inside of the card too, even if we don't use it on the outside, right? A little fun bling on the inside. So I'm cutting this uh, four. I wanted the stripes to go up and down. So I'm cutting the four inch way first and then rotating it here to be five and a quarter. All right. Make a gold sparkle thread tassel and hold it with the brad. You could certainly do that, Janet. Um, that is uh, in my experience, a little bit more challenging um, if you're doing a lot of the cards, but if you're just doing one, you know, I've, I've done them before too with Baker's twine, um, which also works, but when I can find a die and just cut it, uh, I vote for that. <laughs> I'm such a lazy stamper, you guys. All right. So that's what it looks like with the gold stripe. And it might depend if, um, you know, on the person that you were giving it to, if they, you know, we're the per kind of person that likes sparkly gold things or the kind of person that likes, you know, um, is maybe a little more sedate and you think they would prefer the matte black. You can, you know, kind of customize our cards, don't we, to who they're going to. I'm just scoring this at four and a quarter. And so that's what it looks like in the gold. And these nothing stuck down. So I apologize. It's I know it's all sliding around, but um, that's what it looks like in the gold. Oh, you guys, I want to cut this down a little bit more. Oh, I'm so terrible. I'm so picky about stuff. All right. And then here's what it looks like with the black layer. Again. So let me know in your comments if you think we should use the gold or the black on the front. And if we use the black on the front, we're totally using the gold on the inside. And if we use the gold on the front, we're totally using the black on the inside. So we're we're going to use them either way. We're going to use both. So no worries about that. Um, so let me know your final thoughts now that you've seen it, whether you want the black and white background or the gold stripe for the front of the card. And while you're deciding, I'm gonna trim this down a little bit more. See how much can I get away with? I think I can, I think I can almost cut another, gosh, half inch off of that, right? Let's try it. If I cut too much off, guess what? I have more paper. I'm not worried. All right, that's three and a quarter excuse me, that's three. That's just a quarter inch off. Let me test that out. Ooh, sounds like the takeout's here for dinner. That's what we're having for dinner. I'm a lazy, lazy mom tonight. <laughs> Got too much stamping to do. Can't be making dinner. All right. Um, yeah, I think we'll stick with that. So that's three inches. 
and let's cut another quarter inch off here. So this is now three by four. And now a little bit more of our backing will show. All right, I've got too much black, not for graduation, gold for the front, gold for the front. Looks like you guys are pretty, pretty, um, feeling pretty uh, good about doing the gold. So let's do it. Okay, now I just cut down the mat, or excuse me, I just cut down this piece. So of course, now I need to trim this down because it's a little bit bigger now. So what did I say? Three by four, correct? So this one is going to now be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Do you ever do that? Like you start making it and then you just like, oh, I need to trim it down more. All right, let's give it a go. I think this is going to be so cute. All right, so got our adhesive here. Let's start sticking stuff down. Now we're getting serious. All right. I think we want to pop this up. Because it's on layered on black, I am going to attempt to locate my Hmm. Hang on, I'm going to attempt to locate my black dimensionals. Oh, here they are. Okay, that wasn't too hard. I was worried. So we have black dimensionals. They come with the regular size and the minis. And I'm thinking that I can put these on the back because part of the letters um, are sort of filled in. So I've got three of them on this one. That makes it pretty easy. You can always cut these in half if you wanted more on there. I feel like that's enough to hold it. So let's get the backing pieces off. That's the hardest part, right? All right. Oh, it's so pretty in the gold. I love it. All right, so we've got our amazing on there. <laughs> I'm brave. <laughs> and then we've got our U. And put a couple on the back of that. Yeah, if you haven't picked these black uh, dimensionals up, they are really handy when you are dealing with black cardstock because it's kind of yucky to have that white show behind. Not 100% sure I got that in the right place. You know what? I want to add a little glue on this because the glue dot on my, hope you can see that, on my uh, matte black dot is not quite hanging on enough. So I'm going to just ensure that this doesn't slide around it doesn't go anywhere there we go and we're gonna pop that up on a dimensional that that one i could actually use a large black one but uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> i'm out but nobody panic because we got the freebies right got the edges that are perfectly good even better, they're longer. We'll pop our hat up with that, ha! Huh. Clearly I use the large black ones more than I've used the little minis. <laughs> Plus you get more of the minis, so. That may not actually be true. So let's get our hat on here. We're kind of putting our hat on the U a little bit there. So there we have our amazing U. And we've decided on our card that we're not going to use the this pattern for the front. We're going to use this one and make it really celebratory and bright and happy. So let's crease this a little bit better with our bone folder. Love our tools, right? Make it so much easier to craft when you've got the right tools. Tools, this is the Expressions in Ink paper that is also retiring right before this video. It was not sold out yet. That doesn't mean it won't be by the time we're done. But again, seriously, things are flying off the shelf at an alarming rate. 
All right. And then we've got our amazing you. Now you can do it straight. You can do it kind of kitty wampus. Totally up to you. I'm going to put it on straight because I'm weird that way. Does that mean I'm anal if I like things straight? Probably. All right. We're going to go back to these guys. Let's just use some more of these little edges. Waste not, want not. Isn't that the saying? But clearly, I need to order more of these black dimensionals. And, oh, look, we've got a bonus dog here. Isn't that nice? Not really, but at least it's not on the front of the card. Goodness. Seriously. <laughs> oh, that's Mercy's hair, I believe. All right. There we go. All right, then we'll peel our backing pieces off of here. Tanara says gold. That's what we're doing. We're in agreement on that one, aren't we? A couple people, I think, said the black one. And I think either would look nice. But this is just a little more celebratory, maybe a little brighter and sparklier. So we can even um, up that sparkle a little bit. By grabbing our gold faceted gems. I'm so sad these are retiring, you guys. I how, how often do I use these? I mean, I use these all the time. We use these on the Crafter Noon project. So I'm going to add that for the dot on the eye. A little extra bling there. Um, we used these for the last Crafter Noon with the um, porthole card that we made. So, um, so we've got that on there. And now for our inside of our card, I'm going to use this. And then I'll put a bigger piece of white so that it's not so much black. But it really does kind of dress up the inside of the card. Now, you wouldn't have to do that. You could just use a piece of white inside. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to grab one of the six million pieces of white <laughs> paper that are on my desk here. And uh, what size do I want this? Mm, not really sure. I'm guessing. I've got a like, guessing here. Let's try four by two and three quarters. I don't know. I'm not very wordy, you guys. I, <laughs> I prefer not to have too much room to write. So I'm just going to go with that. So... Um, there we can have inside, uh, we can write congratulations and sign our name, put a little cash in the envelope, and it's all good. We've got our grad all set. So there is our grad card. And just to recap, uh, let's recap these sizes because Susan kept changing her mind. <laughs> oh, sorry. So again, goodness, I'm hitting everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I do think it, um, these dies are really cool because of that layering piece. I mean, in just gold, they wouldn't pop out like they do. They're just so cool with that layer behind, especially with a, a, a light and a dark like this. So to recap, we use the tailored tag punch, which I believe is retiring. Somebody said I didn't even know that. Um, we used the... For the tassel, we used the whisk from the, right here, from the cooking dies. Sorry, it's still got little bits of gold stuck in it, but you get the drift. Um, the cooking dies are retiring. Uh, the stamp set sold out, but the dies themselves on their own are still available. And then the um, Amazing Thanks dies um, we used. Let me verify the name of those. Yes, amazing thanks dies, which I believe are carrying over in the paper, is in the new catalog, is what we used for the front of our card. And then we can sign it on the inside or we can stamp a, a message as well. You could even add a layer of gold in here if you wanted to carry that gold in from the inside. You could even put a second grad cap on the inside. So many options, right? And then we use the matte black dot in the center of our grad cap. So just to recap our sizes, the white piece was four inches by three inches. 
and then the layer was four and a quarter by three and a quarter. The gold stripe piece was four by five and a quarter, and the card base was five and a half by eight and a half. And then inside we have a piece that's four by five and a quarter. And then our greeting piece was two and three quarters by four. And there we have our card. You guys did great. I love how it turned out too. It's, it's beautiful. Now, of course, we could always add more bling. We could add more of these gilded gems in here. That's always an option, right? But super cute, fun, easy grad card. You could actually do quite a few of those. And again, these dies, the Amazing Thanks uh, dies, do have the thanks in there. And so you could totally do a thanks card with a grad cap. Um, you know, on the K and the S there, and uh, a grad could send those out as thank yous um, to people that gift them. So, or you can gift the grads some thank you cards. So we did it, you guys. You're amazing. Awesome. I'm going to flip the camera here and so I can say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Again, I'm going to pop this up. If you're not currently getting my Sue Stampfield project sheet emails, go ahead and subscribe at suestampfield.com and click on subscribe. You can also check out my uh, crafting and tutorial bundles while you're over there on my blog. And uh, look forward to sending you the next more creative inspiration in the next project sheets. And again, if you are a subscriber, check your email because I just sent that right before I went live. Have a great night, everyone. And if you have things you want in the annual catalog that's about to end, don't delay. Things are flying off the shelves. So take care. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.